obviously extremely important to me and related uh, in my head to the work I do uh, as a quasi-historian. And you've um, worked with and published Michelle Gondry. Yeah, right? I have. Yeah. Uh, and how, how has that gone? Like, what's that like? Funny. Um, Michelle's great. Uh, we did an event here, actually, when, when we released. Um, he wrote a book about uh, filmmaking called You'll Like This Film Because You're In It, which was based on a project he did over at Deutsch Projects. Uh, where people could come in and make their own films. I also published a, a comic book he did that he, he showed up, uh, gave me, he called me uh, one week. It's like a week before the MoCA Festival a couple years ago, and he said, Dan, Dan, I have finished a comic book. It needs to come out in three days. So I, I found this printer in Long Island City. We stayed up all night putting it together, and we did it. And so it's a great underground comic, and now... So he wrote and drew it. Oh, he wrote, drew, and colored it. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. produced it in three days. Yeah. And you're still speaking. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a strong accent, so we don't have to talk that much. I see. Um, no, and now he's he's you know he's doing the Green Hornet, and we're publishing um, his next book is coming out in September. It's a collaboration with Julie Doucet, who's a, a wonderful graphic novelist, and he somehow twisted her arm into doing a film together, an animated film that Julie drew, and then he had the, had the balls to then push her even further, and she's in the film in live action, moving around in her drawings. So the book collects uh, all the drawings, plus his supplementary drawings, and uh, it's, how we're, it's how they're releasing the film, actually. It's only going to be on a DVD. Have you seen the film? Yeah, of and, course. And? It's great. The film's great. It's really, I mean, if you love Julie's work as I do and you love Michelle's work as I do uh, you'll love the film it's very funny it's very personal uh, the drawings of course are gorgeous animation's great yeah. is, it, is it full length or is it uh, no no it's 18 minutes oh, okay yeah yeah it's, it's just a it's a short and, and the book's only like 100 pages long so it's it's a it's a mellow project <laughs> but it's fun I mean I, I love uh, working with Michelle's a treat and uh, it would be fun to do more film books actually I like I mean the idea of film books is, is very interesting to me so not that I know that much about it but <laughs> yeah well very cool um, I would put it out to the audience if there's anybody has any questions Hey, um, I wanted to kind of, you were just talking about like the perspective of film books. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, I don't know, we're going in a much more comic film friendly direction um, with all the comic books recently, but um, what do you think could like really become of the form? Like there, there's some really, they're not so fine distinctions anymore, you know? Like in Kick-Ass, they went through like the comic strip and animated it and it realized it. What do you think? I'm waiting for the Kona film, which, uh, <laughs> this con is contact me after the signing if you're interested. There's a there there, man. <laughs> Kona. Um, I don't know. I, Kona. I, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. Kona. Mm -hmm. T shirts, merchandise, everything. Hey, yeah. Um, wigs. <laughs> I don't know. I, film, comics. It seems like, uh, if, I don't think Kick Ass did very well. So, what's the next one? I, oh, Iron Man came out. I mm -hmm. want to see that. If they don't start doing really well, I think that might be the end, right? <laughs> You're, it you, will never. You end. might know. I don't know. I'm way, I loved Iron Man. I thought that was a good movie. I saw. I saw the sequel. This oh, weekend. how was it? It's good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's good. That they they have no more. They, they don't have the, the, the surprise factor that the first one right. had. Because, I mean, I, my expectations actually were fairly low for the first one. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, my God, it's great. Right. So now it's like, oh, my God, it's going to be great. And it's good. <laughs> um, right. that was, I mean, that was my take on it. I yeah. mean, you know, they spent a ton of money. Uh, I, I love just 
me being me, I love the design aspect of it. And yeah, I yeah, loved yeah. in the first one how it was a design problem. He was dying and he had to figure out how to save right. his own life and design his way out of that cave and blah, blah, blah. And it was, it yeah. was just great. I mean, you watched him do it. It yeah. wasn't like they just said they were going to do it and then it was done. You watched him do it. And in this one, I'm not giving anything away, he's dying again and he has to figure out a way to <laughs> okay. save himself. And it's like, that's cool, but we saw that already. But okay, that's cool, and you know, <laughs> you know, it's good. And, it'll, and I, I think it's, I think it's a force for good because, because th- there's a huge amount of intelligence there. There's a huge amount of design sense. Um, yeah, I, I did watch Kick Ass with a sort of, you know, amazed fascination. So did I. Um, yeah. Just because, I mean, I. It was just weird. It was so strange. It's a weird comic. A it's a weird movie. It's just, it's not really my thing, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Kick ass. I don't know. I don't know. Man. It seems like uh, the big the big thing is people making comics just to make into movies. That yeah. that's 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 a thing. So, but that's not necessarily a good thing. It'd be nice just to make good comics for a while. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Other other questions, I guess. Yes, sir. This is. Uh, yes, I was looking at the book and the Man in Metal. I noticed the way he was drawn. He looks like the Incredible Hulk. Did that inspire them later on to copy oh, that? I can't imagine. I can't I mean, imagine. I can't imagine. I mean, there are so many. Uh, Kirby had his own thing going. That's for sure. Uh, I'm wondering whether or not that inspired them to create the cr- Incredible Hulk. Of course, the way it was. Man of Metal drawn, it reminds me of the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't think there's any I, relation. I would doubt it. I mean, I, I'm no expert, but I don't re- I've don't. i never heard that Kirby say something like that. Or no, and, and Man of Metal was pretty obscure. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. not, not a hit. <laughs> Other questions? Uh, Dan, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, this Frederick. may be uh, too large a question to be answered tonight, but I'm so curious to know... Your every edition is so extraordinary. H- how, how do you do that? I mean, there's no PhD in this, or particular, I don't think there is, is there? What's, is there? what's PhD? FID. A PhD, Doctor of Philosophy. Doctor of Philosophy. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. P- we, see, see what it's kind a of degree. <laughs> a degree. Yeah. Uh, a what? A, yes. a, I, thought, I thought that was like a some sort of reference to acid-free paper. Um, no, so, I'm, I'm an idiot. So, so, so. It's, a, it's a miracle any of this gets done. Well, we, we know that you're an idiot. That's yeah, the question. It's, we're it's talking obvious. about your area edition. Yeah. So, so how, I mean, it's, as I say, it's a very large question. Maybe we should talk about it some other time. But uh, is this a passion that develops into a kind of you know, deep nerd scholarship? I mean, how, do you, how does one do this? Because you really do know an awful lot. Uh, it presented it is, beautifully, by the way. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> Um, let's see. No, I mean, like, like a lot of people, like Chip, uh, grew up reading the stuff and then you, you hit a certain point where, or at least I hit a point where it just became a complete obsession. And, uh, even as a teenager, I was, I just was fascinated by the history, um, and read all the history books I could find and, uh, went to the library and all that kind of stuff. So I, I think there's different kinds of comics readers. I was a comics reader that, and I still am a comics reader. I almost enjoy reading about comics more than I like reading comics. <laughs> um, and I read obsessively like old fanzines from the seventies and sixties. And I just love reading about comics and thinking about comics. Uh, I love, I love reading comics too, but I got to admit I'd rather most days I'd rather read an interview with like Gil Kane than I would read a, read a Gil Kane comic, uh, or most comics. Um, so it just developed into a, a yeah. And, and, and when I moved to New York and got out of school with, without a PhD, or a FUD, as I would call it, um, I knew I wanted to do something and write about the medium and write about graphic design and illustration and stuff. And I uh, was lucky enough to hook up with, with someone named Steve Heller, who's a, a great art director and historian himself. And uh, he kind of helped me out and pointed me in the right direction for places to write, and that led to uh, the book and, and other things. Yeah. So it's, uh, as s- myself, speaking as someone who's put books like this together, do you do you do it all yourself? You mean 
Like what? Well, I mean, do you? I mean, I still work in Quark, but you know, like I'll do. Oh. I'll. I mean, this is okay. This is a real geeky question, but now, it's, you're it's leading. The one it's, still working. In it's Quark. leading somewhere. I promise. <laughs> but like, in other words, do you have? assistants that help you put this together or like we'll oh. do the mechanicals or whatever oh these are i mean this is uh i, I work with the fine people at abrams in the, right in the front row um and no i mean helene silverman designed both books she did so okay. really it's me writing the text uh that's right she turning did. it over to to charlie and sophia here uh my my very patient editors and um and and Sheila, who came on board after and was equally patient and more so, uh, and then um, and then I hand in the comics, they get scanned, uh, Helene designs it, off we go. So yeah, I'm I'm really more. It's actually really fun doing these books because I get to be just an author and I don't have to worry about the production, which is a treat. So here's a word of advice: don't change that <laughs> ever I, I, yeah, I refuse to learn in design yeah so don't, I've, don't. I've taken myself out of the equation yeah no I, I mean look you know you run a publishing company and i have to deal with all the production aspects all day long it's great just to in my area of passion it's why i i wouldn't want to publish one of these books myself it's like i just i like being separate from the process mm -hmm. and, and being feeling like i'm objective somewhat very important. <laughs> Very wow, important. this is serious for you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, having just just quit come off like shift, two just like quit design. intensive book design <laughs> project. Ready to shoot myself. Okay. Uh, there we go. There's a couple of questions. First of all, I want to acknowledge your bravery and honesty for coming out about Quark. <laughs> Some of us younger designers, you know, we don't even know. Wow. Um, what about uh, featuring any collection of some of the biblical stuff you get sort of slipped onto your door or handed to you or walking down the street, some of those comics? Oh, like, like some Jack, of those are really like Jack Chick. I think, you know, I think there are Jack Chick collections out there. I think Last Gas yeah, did I, one. Yeah, I think there are, and What's-His-Name did a really great example. Um, uh, Dan. Dan. Oh, come on. The Imp. The We're Imp. Dan Rayburn. Dan God, Rayburn. I'm sorry. Did a whole examination of the yeah. Jack Chick things, and... I have a really weird memory of Jack Chick. Like, when I was a kid, um, I don't know if you're familiar with these things, but they're actually really intense and horrifying. Yeah, 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 they're scary. And I was like eight years old, and I encountered one of these things at a grocery store, and I'm still scarred by it. It, it was yeah. so scary. Like, like, they talk about EC. Like, forget EC. You know, like, these were so intense about going to hell and, and yeah. all this kind of thing. It was really creepy. No, and luckily, really creepy. luckily I'm a Jew, so it doesn't, I just shrug it off. I just know it's, it's nonsense anyway. Not I, my people. And the thing about me is I only look like I'm a Jew. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> but I was underneath, actually you're Protestant, a, so I was like, oh my God. Tender. At least I wasn't Catholic. But, um, <laughs> very upsetting. How did, yeah. we, how did we walk down this path? I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, a collection of it. Uh, no, I, I think it's been done. Yeah. I think, I think it's been done and done. And Dan Ray Burns the, imp the Dan Rayburn is really imp worth getting. On Jack Chick, get it. Dan it, Rayburn, maybe one of the all-time best writers about comics. I tried to sign him up. Oh really? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, we can talk about that later. We can talk about that later. Um, yeah. Other. Mm -hmm. Hi. The the pages you showed us from the Kona are are uh, pretty text intensive. Did the artist do his own lettering? Or do you have someone else? I don't think he did his own lettering. Uh, all the lettering at Dell seemed to have been done mechanically um, or by an in-house person. It kind of varies. Sometimes it's typeset. Sometimes it's hand-done. I, I don't think Glansman did it. That would have been really unusual, even even by those low standards. <laughs> yeah. 